Hi, I'm Jude Bond. I'm lead artist on Alien Isolation, um, survival horror, um, based on or, or inspired by the 1979 classic Alien. It, I think that that depends entirely on how you play it. Um, uh, we, we the the story unfolds um, uh, in, an, in a very different way depending on uh, your play style. Uh, effectively, the experience is very different and driven by um, by by the player. You know, are you going to spend a lot of time hiding under tables or avoiding the alien? Are you going to you know, run through areas as fast as you can. Um, it's it, it varies wildly. I think um, my guess would be 20 hours or something like that, but that is a complete guess. Um, so uh, convincing is an interesting thing there. So um, one of our one of our key pillars is um, authenticity, and um, we've tried as hard as we can to make everything that we're doing um, believable and, and, and grounded. Um, you know, a lot of the horror takes part, I think, inside the viewer's head uh, rather than explicitly um, on the screen. And so uh, if, the, if the pictures or images we're, we're letting people imagine aren't, um, aren't believable or the, or the people don't believe in the characters, then, you know, the horror will fall flat. So um, we've gone to a lot of effort to make our alien uh, super believable, super high fidelity, um, and I, I guess uh, you know if you do come into close proximity to it, it will it will kill you. But it's got to kill you convincingly. It's got to be believable for you to be be scared. Um, it hasn't been playing on the mind really. It's a it's a very different game. The premise is very different. I mean, we've set out to produce a survival horror game. Um, which is inspired by the first by the first film. Um, I think we've you know we've been very focused on on that as our objective, and you know we care deeply about the the franchise. And um, yeah, I don't think it's got in our way at all. Um, so we've got a really uh, talented uh, coding technical team. Um, and uh, the game's been in development for um, a good few years now. Uh, we've always known that Next Gen was on the horizon, but when we started the project, we didn't know what that was or what the capabilities of that would be. And so, you know, crafting the technology ourselves just gave us ultimate flexibility and it's allowed us to, um, you know, build an engine that does exactly what we want it to do. Um, so, yeah, we've got a great looking engine with amazing, amazing technology in it does everything we need it to do from an art perspective. So we're looking at uh, a lot of uh, opportunities for you know cool technology that's coming out. I think uh, if you're at E3 this year, uh, I think we're um, we're actually demoing on the Oculus stand. So yeah, it looks amazing. <laughs> Um, I can, but I don't know if you want to. Um, <laughs> if you want to publish it, to me, the uh, the first movie is the best movie by a long way. It's uh, you know it's very different from the other movies, but um, you know it's it's a horror movie right now. It's uh, it's not an action movie. Uh, I think it's very hard to um, to rank them because they are such different beasts. But the the first movie to me is just an amazing piece of work, uh, and the fact that it is still um, you know, ballad and stands up 35 years later, I think is a contestament to its quality. It's an amazing piece of work. Um, so the, the whole uh, thing started um, quite a few years ago now. Um, we've just finished, all the, you know, a few of us just finished another game and we were looking for uh, what we were going to do next um, and discovered like, almost by accident that um, Sega we were talking to Fox about the Aliens franchise and we were like, oh my god, we need to do something. So there's a small team of us uh, got together and just put put the most rudimentary demo that we could together from the technology that we had available. Um, you know, there was no character in that per se. You were effectively driving a camera uh, through the world and um, I think that informed us early on, or it informed the idea that, you know, actually being immersed in this world and uh, seeing it from a first-person perspective was was the way to go, and 
So um, yeah, that's where we that's where so we. So it's ended always up. been from the first person. Um, we have talked about third person in the past. Um, there was a lot of debate about that, but um, I think you know first person certainly from my perspective was um, was the way we needed to go, and uh, I think we've delivered on that. Uh, so we're releasing on or, or from uh, October the seventh this year. <laughs>